is carrying on business in the state. If the name of the donor is made available to all the political parties, the rival political parties will say, well, you or especially if you are making a contribution only, to a party which is not in power. Only free information from the state bank. Strictly speaking, only that. Otherwise, citizens certainly can't. It completely defeats the citizens' rights. Yes, so, Mr. Sharma, let's be very clear. This order, this is an interim order. That's right. It will continue till the decision. So, so there are 40 legal orders. Justifications given by the government for electoral bonds was that donors are reluctant to donate openly to political parties because of fear of whatever. Now, so we ask this question under RTI. So that response, RTI response below is in volume 4, page 536. Volume 4, page 536. They say two SO and CPIO budget division gave their inputs in respect of electoral bond scheme 2018 pertaining to pre budget division subsequent to 7 6 2017, the date of assigning the job to the budget division as follows. As regards point A and B, no representation or petition or communication has been received from the donors regarding the need for maintaining confidentiality of the identity while making donations to political parties. This, so may, not, uh, this, yeah, price this may not be really very relevant. Actually. This may not be relevant no, because it's already, they already know its confidentiality is in a way maintained under the... No, so that justification given by the... I'm only showing this to show that one of the justifications given by the government for introducing the electoral bond scheme was, they said that, look, we are introducing this anonymous instrument of funding political parties because donors are reluctant to disclose who they are funding to. So we asked this question, was any representation received from any donor whatsoever that, look... No, but you don't have to have a representation from a donor to perceive that reluctance. I mean... We are just trying to analyze, you know, RTI response really will not carry your uh, submission any further. Uh, no, I am saying that government should have some... There is an assumption that, look, if you, okay. if you, if you disclose the name of the donor, there will be other political parties who will know that you have contributed to this political party and therefore they might be subject to... They are, suppose a donor is carrying on business in the state. If the name of the donor is made available to all the political parties, the rival political parties will say, well, you, or especially if you are making a so contribution only, to a party which is not in power. Only fear would be from the party. That's the, assum that's the logic. Okay. Whether it's valid or not is what we have to decide. Correct. Now, your lordship may come back to my written submission. I just want yeah, to show... Mission, you're on... The first argument was right to information under 19... I'm coming to that. I just wanted to lay out the few other facts. Now, let's uh, look at... I'm saying that... <clears throat> and but and ultimately, so the purchaser of the bond yeah. may not be the person who is actually handing it over to Correct. the political party. That's why. Right. That's why. That's why they may say that we don't know. <clears throat> and they can also say that it was not even handed over in person. It was just left at our doorstep. So <clears throat> or courier to us. Anything they can say. Who is uh, the election commission is appearing before us? Yes, yes. I, I'll just read out. I'll Who's read out for the election commission. Mr. Uh, Sharma, you have details of uh, you have details of uh, these these uh, this data which has been submitted pursuant to the interim order. Interim order. We have that seal cover. Block that. If my lords, do keep it with you in the court yeah, so that at an appropriate time we'd like to uh, look at it. But this is pertaining to 2019. That interim order was passed in 2019. So pertaining to that, the data is with us. But, but they should give the data. This, this was a continuing interim order. But this is not only confined to the 2019 election. So it's the mandate is that you must continue to maintain this uh, data. As far as the data of 2019 is concerned, look, that's there in the seal cover. Because if my laws requires so data. Mr. Sharma, let's be very clear. This order, this is an interim order. That's right. It will continue till the decision. So, so there are 40 legal objects pending. Possibly that's the.
there are detail date matlab para protein hota para for the past that's for the past the above details will be furnished forthwith in respect of electoral bonds received by a political party till date the detail of such other bonds received by such political party up to the date fixed for issuing such bond as per note of the ministry of finance dated so and so will be submitted on or before 30th may 2019 so just one thing now you are reading paragraph 13 as restricted by paragraph 14 and you have not carried forward the data with regard to post to post the interim order i'll have to seek instructions please take instructions on that we'll do that we'll do that 14 does not restrict it to restrict paragraph 13 paragraph 14 is for the past Paragraph thirteen is from that period onwards. But I'll I'll take it. What paragraph fourteen says is that in respect of the past period, the data will be submitted forthwith. But para thirteen is a continuing direction. This is not only confined to the two thousand and nineteen election. Because then I'll I'll seek instruction. Because I'll be. Then, my lord, the next order <clears throat> at para twenty, which I have quoted. is that mix and match thing i said this honorable court in its interim order dated 263 subsequent interim order however based on the government's claims while rejecting the petitioner's prayer for interim stay had noted the financial statements of companies registered under the companies act which are filed with the registrar of companies are accessible online on the website of the ministry for anyone they can also be obtained in physical form from the registrar of companies upon payment of prescribed free fee since the scheme mandates political parties to file audited accounts of statements and also the companies act requires financial statements of registered companies to be filed with the registrar of companies the purchase as well as encashment of bonds happening only through banking channels is always reflected in documents that eventually come to the public domain all that is required is a little more effort to cull out such information from both sides purchaser of bond and political party and do some match the following therefore it is not as though the operation of the scheme are behind iron curtains and capable of being pierced pausing here my lord this is this is not correct because because you can't citizen can't do this match the following etc because the company does not disclose who they have given the bond to company only discloses the total bonds purchased the political party is only discloses the total bonds received so you can't no citizen can match only the only the state bank only the state bank state bank and any law enforcement agency which asks such information from the state bank strictly speaking only that otherwise citizen certainly can it completely defeats the citizens right 